Hey everyone, welcome back to Creative Gamers. Today we've got exciting news for PS3 and mobile gaming fans. The official RPCS3 Android Alpha emulator is finally out. And yes, it's the official PS3 emulator for your mobile device. In this video, I'm going to walk you through everything from setup to gameplay. What is RPCS3? If you're not familiar, RPCS3 is an open source PlayStation 3 emulator that's been making waves on PC. And now the team, including one of the original founders, has brought it to Android. This port brings PlayStation 3 gaming straight to your mobile device, although it's still in its early days. Once you download and install the official RPCS3 Android emulator, tap the app icon to launch it. You'll see a clean, minimal interface. Right now, it's all about functionality over fancy design. To get started, you need to install the PlayStation 3 firmware. Tap the Install Firmware button in the emulator's menu. You'll need to have the firmware file ready on your device. Place it in your Downloads folder, then select it from within the emulator. Currently, the emulator only supports game files in the .pkg format. Tap the Add Game button and select your .pkg file. If you try using a .ios file, it won't work, so make sure you're using the correct format. Now, let's see it in action. I'm loading up one of my favorite PS3 games. Notice how the emulator handles the graphics and performance. It's not perfect yet. In fact, you'll see that this emulator crashes most of the games, which is one of the major drawbacks right now. Despite these issues, it's a promising start as the team works on further improvements. One thing to note, there aren't any on-screen controls built into the emulator at this stage. So, if you're planning on playing directly on your device, you might need to look into third-party apps like a touch key mapper or connect an external controller if your device supports Bluetooth. To wrap up, while the official RPCS3 Android emulator marks an exciting milestone by bringing PS3 emulation to mobile devices, it's important to note that, at this stage, it is not better than the APS3e emulator. Even though this official port benefits from the original developer's expertise and offers a clean, straightforward setup process, its performance, user interface, and lack of integrated on-screen controls still fall short compared to the more mature APS3e emulator. If you're already familiar with APS3e and its refined experience, you might prefer sticking with it until the official RPCS3 Android port receives further updates and optimizations. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and happy gaming.